So I've been learning about function calling. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how it works in the most simplest way possible. So let's take an example. Let's see a prompt. What is the current Apple stock price? Now we have a model which executes a Python function. Please bear with me. And this Python function retrieves the stock price. And then the LLM gives us a final response saying Apple stock is $230 today. Now this is an example where an LLM is executing a Python function that I've defined and it's giving me a real time response with the most accurate data. So first thing, this video will be divided up into two main sections. First, we're gonna talk about what it is and how it works, talk about some primitive function calling, and then we're gonna dive inside the implementation. Simple steps on how to do it. We're gonna use OpenAI to get a bit more involved into the advanced stuff, slightly. And we're gonna talk about the Mistral. If you guys are into using open source LLMs, you guys can use Mistral, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, let's talk about how it works. Now, how does function calling solve any problem? Now let's talk about LLMs and retrievals. Now I'm sure many people in my channel work with LLMs and retrievals and fine tuning. And as we probably know, they can be quite inconsistent when giving us answers and they can have problems retrieving real-time data. Not only that, executing actions can be quite tough unless you're using agents and other systems. Now, function calling can help us carry out a specific task. We can tell the model to execute a function that does a specific task for us. This will give us reliability and also gives us flexibility and customization. So we can do pretty much anything we want and force the LLMs to behave in a certain way. Now, this is why this really excites me, the ability to flexibly customize the LLMs to do whatever I want and also give me accurate responses. And we can see some examples of function calling in ChatGPT. So if you guys were able to use ChatGPT Premium, it has a function where you can say, oh, find what AI agent is. Let's say I'm searching for an answer. And it can do a search AI agent definition in the internet. This is the basic idea of function calling. It's calling a function to search the internet. Now, what if you can connect it to the internet, to a CSV file, or many other applications of your choice? You're essentially hooking up an LLM to an actual function and executing it. Executing it. And that's what fascinates me so much. Now, enough yapping, let's get on to the application. How do we actually implement it? Now, the jury will be broken down into four main sections. So we have the defining function, the function we're gonna use, the model to call. We're gonna define the simple function calling with basic prompt, just to give you guys an example on, on how simple function calling really works. And then we're gonna do function calling a bit more advanced using the open AI package. And also we're gonna take this part and we're gonna extend it even further also using the open AI. And this is gonna make much, much more sense on how this works. Just bear with me, just follow along. Now let's define the function. So first things first, you have to install these two packages that are listed over here. Once that is done, we're gonna import our Y finance. We are using the Yahoo finance to help us get our stock price for different stocks. We're gonna define the function like this. We get the timestamp, the open, the highs and the lows and stuff like that. Things I actually personally don't really understand much, by the way. And then just to give you guys an example of how this works, we can use a symbol, which is, for example, Apple stock. We get the stock price over here and we can print it out. And there we go. We got a timestamp, the opening share price and so forth. Now we can see how we can use this function with an open AI model. So very, very primitive. We're going to start by taking this function over here and make it into a string. And then what we can do is we can tell the model, hey, we have a role, a system, and a content. Get the stock code and format it using, to use it in this function, where we send the function as the prompt over here. We send another prompt as well, saying, hey, no detailed explanation, just the stock code. And then we just ask, what is the recent stock price of Apple? Now note that we're not sending Apple specifically over here. Now, what we have to do is send it to the chat model. Now, before we actually send it to the chat model, we actually have to instantiate our OpenAI model. And the way we do that is actually by importing OpenAI like this, importing JSON. And we also are going to use Google Colab's user data to get our OpenAI key. Now, OpenAI key is available in my environment variables over here. So we're gonna enable that. So make sure you guys have gotten the OpenAI API key and put it in your environment before you guys do anything. And now we can parse the response to see what it returns. So what it's saying over here is our initial question was, what is the recent stock of Apple? And it says, use symbol Apple and then call this function get stock price symbol. And this is essentially a Python function, if in case you guys are wondering. So what you would 
realistically do is essentially parse this using regex or something similar. You just call this over here. So you do symbol apple, get stock price symbol, it should get a response. And that's the basic idea of function calling. Now, this is a very, very primitive way of doing it. Now I'm gonna show you guys a bit more, slightly more sophisticated way of doing function calling using the open AI package. And of course, GPT-40. Now, how do you do that? First things first, import the client, which you've already done. And now we should be able to run a function that says run conversation, what is the stock price of Nvidia? And it should give us step-by-step -step on how to do it. So let's implement that. First thing we have to do is define the function and then we're going to have messages over here, which can take a role, user, content, the content will be the question that we pass in over here. And then we're going to have something called tools. Tools are simply a list of function metadata. This is gonna make much more sense. So over here, we have a JSON object over here in a list. And this is the metadata definition of the function that we have over here. So we have the symbol, which is a string, passes in, does various stuff over here. And also we have to tell the model that what, what is the main functionality of this function over here. And that is what this description is doing. Now, by the way, I've taken help from ChatGPT to help me define it in the most standardized way possible. So if you have a function, tell it to format it in this way that defines the type, the function name, properties, and so forth. Now, without going into the details, let's do some curing to the model. So we're gonna get the response over here, and then we're gonna get the response and essentially print out what it's saying. So we're right now we're printing out the tool call over here. So we're gonna run the conversation. What is the stock price of NVIDIA? and see what, or actually just to inspect what the model is returning. So over here is returning function symbol NVDA. That is the stock price name of NVIDIA. And it's telling us, hey, use this function over here, get stock price. So nothing definitive, just giving us meta metadata on what exactly to use and what symbol to use in this instance. Now, so far what we have done is we have used the GPT-4 Omni model to get which function to use and how to use it. So determining which specific stock code. Now we actually use the OpenAI package and GPT-4 Omni to execute the function and then get the final response using the model. Now let's take it one step further. Let's do a bit more extended version of this function. Now over here, we have the exact same code as above. And what we do, we, st we have inserted a step two where we have if tools call, call the function where we have a dictionary with the get stock price and then we append the messages. And then we send the info for each function call and function response to the model over here. We append the messages again, and then we send the response to the client. Now what it's essentially doing is we're taking the first initial response that we get, and, we, and then we pass it onto the model with the various functions to give us a much more refined answer. So right now, we should get a more tailored answer right now. So if you inspect it, and here we go. As of June, 2024, the stock price of NVIDIA is $118 per share. And it gives us way more information right now. So this is giving us up-to-date, accurate information. And now we can also check another stock price, for example, so Alibaba. Now this is giving us a better response for Alibaba as well. Now, of course, right now it's giving us June 24th over here, even though it's June 25th right now. That's probably because the New York Stock Exchange is still in June 24th. So that's probably the reason. By the way, as promised, I'm going to provide the link for this Mistral AI implementation of function calling. There's a nice video for it. I'm not going to go through this in this video because it's practically the same thing, but just a different API. So yeah, enjoy. So again, the main concept is we take a user function to call the API and the API re re returns some information, which then is passed again to the model to give us a more tailored answer. This essentially gives us a much more accurate information in real time. I hope you guys found it insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.